we have no doubt that the Arto Act will make a difference by introducing severe penalties, which include attaching movable properties of, of infringers, putting an end to culture of impunity. As we proceed with the national rollout roll of Arto, we will proclaim implementation in 69 municipalities by the end of this calendar year, while Arto will kick in in the remaining municipalities by the 1st of July 2024. We are working closely with the Department of Cooperative Government and Traditional Affairs COCTA in ensuring that all municipalities have the requisite capacity to implement the law. For the last couple of years, there have been a number of rampant incidents of touching of trucks, particularly on the N3, the corridor that carries an estimated 80% of the country's cargo, primarily from the port of Deben to the rest of the country and the rest of the SADC region. This corridor also caters for cargo destined for the region and the continent, if you want. I have expressed grave concern on the touching of trucks on our roads with recent incidents spanning the provinces of KwaZulu-Natal and Pumalanga with earlier incidents reported in Gauteng. These criminals are committing an act of economic sabotage which will not be tolerated. Working with the law enforcement authorities, we will ensure that the perpetrators are brought to book and their conviction must attract the harshest penalties permissible in law. Our road network is the lifeblood of our economy and transport valuable cargo that keeps the wheels of our economy turning. Government has provided a platform of engagement for any party aggrieved by working conditions in the road freight industry and progress is being made in addressing the issues on the table. The ministry continues to work as part of the interministerial committee led by the Minister of Employment and Labor, Minister Tulas Nwesi, to address the challenges facing the sector. Behavior by any party that chooses to remain outside of the legal framework will neither be condoned nor, nor tolerated. We call upon law enforcement authorities to unleash the full might of the law in dealing with those who think they can sabotage our economy with impunity. We equally appeal to other road users and communities to work closely with law enforcement authorities and report suspicious conduct on our roads. We will not allow our roads to be used as an arena to commit crime. Uh, with regards to the, 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 the truck drivers say, uh, raising issues about the employment of foreign nationals, yes, this has been said, and this is a matter that the Minister of, of, of Labor and, and, and Employment is dealing with. And uh, I think at some stage they were requested to accompany the delegation so that they can also assist to say this is the company and these are the people. And sometimes you'll find that they do not join such. But otherwise, there is already an IMC that is looking into the matter. We're looking at the side of transport, if there are any issues that we need to deal with, which we are attending to. On the side of labor, there's the Minister of Labor. On the side of criminality, because indeed, there is nothing that can justify the touching of, of trucks. The touching of trucks can never be the solution at all. It is an economic sabotage, and it talks bad about South Africa. It actually gives us a very bad image internationally as a country.